MJ18, P22Q2, state the principle of conservation of momentum. Ah, yeah, this one. The total momentum, initial, equals to the total momentum after collision. But don't forget, sometimes can be two-dimensional also. So I'll just throw a vector hat, an arrow on top to remind us, hey, there's 2D also. So we're going to write that as total momentum. Must include the word total. What am I writing? Total. Total. Momentum of interacting objects can be a collision can be an explosion i'm just going to call these interactions okay so total momentum of interacting objects uh, is constant or is conserved there's no change if must add the condition what's the condition if there are no external forces so in other words, you could also, instead of saying no external forces, you could say uh, this is an isolated system, So which means no external forces. Ah. So 2 marks 1 comes from total momentum. The word total is important here. It's usually an M1. And you talk about the condition if there are no external forces or, or it's an isolated system. So this one is an A1 mark. You must get the M1 in order to get the A1. All right, let's move on to the... The main challenge of the day. So there is a stationary firework exploding into three different fragments. Boom, boom. Okay, how do we solve this question? The fragment 3m got velocity, 2m got velocity, 1.5 got velocity. I'm not going to read it out. You look at the diagram yourself, okay? So what we need to do is use the principle of conservation of momentum to determine theta. What is this angle? Okay, we stay calm. <sighs> We deal with the horizontal and the vertical separately. Okay, can I? So maybe we start off by writing that first. Horizontal, number one. Vertical, number two. So stationary firework tells me a clue that in the beginning, before anything happened, the total momentum is zero in all directions. Nobody moving. So after the explosion, who got horizontal component? Ah? <laughs> look and see, look and see. Ah, this piece, a 1.5, the velocity can be broken down into components. Le? Got horizontal, got vertical. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So here we must, got horizontal component ready. The other piece, 2M, also got a horizontal component. And then later, a vertical component. So these two, they are a bit at the angle, so they have components for both. So how would you find this horizontal velocity? Six meters, oh, so this one is adjacent hypotenuse. This will be uh, six cosine theta. Going to the left, so negative six cosine theta. For the other one, moving to the right-ish, this one also got a component. So this component of velocity, let's find velocity first, ah. Uh, Let's say velocity. Velocity, this will be 8 cosine theta. So let's equate the momentum and see if we can help us find the angle theta. Okay, okay. So you want to conserve momentum. So total initial momentum equals to total final momentum, all in the horizontal. Before that, nobody moving, so zero. After explosion, wow, we have two. We have 8 cos theta minus 6 cos theta. Minus because moving opposite direction, one move to right, one move left. So, wait a second, we're missing something here. Miss, this one is just velocity. What about the mass? Oh, good reminder, good reminder. We forgot about the mass. Okay, okay. Mass, so 2.0 m. You, you put m, okay, la, 2 m. Negative. 6 cos theta. Ah, this one only look correct. Plus the other mass, 1.5 m. I forgot the m again. Times 8 cos theta. There we go. That looks more correct. Then we can rearrange since once is negative. This will be 12. I have not enough space. Why am I so crowded today? 12 m cos theta equals to, what is 8 times? 1.5 ah. 12, right? 12, ah? Okay, right there, 12. 12m 12 cos 
data. Nani, miss, it cancel out leh. Something is wrong here. I cannot find anything. Okay, sure. I mean, they have to be equal. One move left, one move right. So it's not helpful. We cannot use this to find our data because it's literally the same amount left and right. That leaves us with the vertical component. Let's write out the vertical component. Maybe it can help us here. So vertical component, they are both moving downwards, the light green one. So the very first one here, I'm going to write here, Vy is going to be 8 sine theta. The one on the left, the velocity will be, vertical velocity, will be 6 sine theta. So if I were to add up and write out one equation for this, I can say total momentum initial equals to total momentum final but in the vertical. So initial, nobody's moving. Uh, zero. Final. Now we have to be careful of our direction. Remember we say anything move to the right is positive. Anything move up is positive. So we have positive velocity there and then two negative velocity downwards. So you can write out and say, okay, so we have 3m times 7, that's the one going up, plus the one going downwards, there's 2m times negative 6 sine theta, and another one, 1.5m times negative 8 sine theta. Okay, I think this one we can find answer already. So I'm going to take that equation up there. I'm going to rewrite it down here so that we have more space to write it out. But make sure you know how to even get this equation in the first place. Momentum conservation. Okay, momentum conservation. All right, we got plenty of space here. Let's write out for the vertical component only. We have figured out that this thing moving up should equal to the both of this moving downwards, the momentum moving downwards. So I'm going to shortcut and say, okay, who's moving up? The one moving up, we have 3.0m times 7. That's the momentum upwards. Equal to all those that's moving downwards. So we have two of those, which is this one going down and this one going down. So we can write here that this will be equal to What's the mess here? Ayo, I need more space. Okay, let's 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 keep it like this. Don't want to move my screen too much. 2.0m times 6 sine theta plus this one is 1.5m times 8 sine theta. If you're wondering, miss what happened to the negative side? Nah. Here the negative side, right? I move it to the other side. So the zero is, you know, not zero anymore. I move it to the other side, so I want to get rid of the negative signs. Now we have to do the pain of combining everything to find the answers. Nice thing is all the M cancel out. M, M, M. So if I don't know the M, it's still okay. So this will be 21 equals to, I put a point zero lah. 21 equals to 12 sine theta plus another 12 sine theta data. Hey, they add up nicely. Okay, that means 21 equals to 24 sine data, which means sine data equals to 21 over 24. And from here, you can find your data. So we should get a value, if I press my calculator, around 61.04. Sure, let's stick with that. And in my final answer, I can write 2SF or 3SF. I think I'll do 2SF to follow everyone, all the values that they give to me. So 61 degrees is going to be the angle of these two pieces from the horizontal. See this little theta there? Oh, you know, this, this, this question, a lot of steps. Huh? No, lah, just this step. So one mark comes if I can see you using P equals to MV in your working, whether explicitly or in a calculation like this. You multiply mass times velocity. Then, the second mark comes if you equate everything in the horizontal. So, for example, this step will be an example. You equate either those that's moving up versus those moving down, or you know the idea that total momentum in the vertical is zero. Show this idea. Then, of course, final mark for your final answer. Okay? So, remember, uh, separate, horizontal, vertical. This is only in the vertical. 
Now, we need to find a ratio of kinetic energy of fragment mass 2m and mass 1.5m. What is the what is the velocity of them though? Okay, 2m. How fast are you moving 2m? 2m is moving at 6 meters per second. Make a note. 1.5m is moving with, look up there, 8 meters per second. So this one is 8. Is that it? Miss, how about the component? Never mind. They already give us the speed. We don't need to worry about the component component. You know why? Because speed is what we use in kinetic energy calculations. So if you want to find the kinetic energy of these two, we need to remember that kinetic energy is half mv squared. So we're going to sub in all the values. So the first one, half 2m. And the v squared will be 6 squared. Divide by the 1.5m one. So this will be half 1.5m times 8 squared. Nice thing is the m and the m cancel out. The half and the half cancel out. So all you left this value to apply in your calculator. And you should get 3 over 4. But do not write 3 over 4 here. I will give wrong. No fractions allowed in Physics, you need to write the exact value. What is 3 over 4? You write out 0 0.75. So you write 0 0.75 to SF at least. So I'm going to write a reminder here. No fractions in physics. In maths, yes, they want exact value. But in physics, you want the decimals. You want to see your precision. So this is a 2 mark. 1 for final answer in decimal. And 1 mark if I see half mv square is being used, whether in the ratio or written explicitly here. So equation. All right, and I think that's all for this question. Nice, uh, nice practice of thinking about components. Go check out the next few examples also. We'll look at more different kinds of scenarios where it'll be a little bit more complicated. All right, so that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.